this brain teaser in this video is uh, once again not one that I made up. I I actually don't remember the first time that I heard it. I think it was in the back of a, a magazine. I want to say Scientific American, and and me and a bunch of buddies we were traveling through Europe, and it kind of became our pastime to do these brain teasers in the back of magazines. And just so you know, I think a lot of y'all think that you know these type of brain teasers you can just read them and solve them, and if you can't solve them, then you're not good at this type of thing. This brain teaser I'm about to give you, I just kind of sat and thought about it, and our me and my buddies we argued about it for literally about a day and then I just slept on it and then the first thing in the morning I like woke up all my friends it's like I figured it out so this isn't some kind of easy thing and and I encourage you you know just uh, listen to the statement understand it and then you know pause the video and then think about it for 24 hours and then come back to it and one you, you'll probably solve it yourself and if you don't uh, in 24 or 48 hours then you'll probably find the solution that much more satisfying so this is the problem of the togglers Togglers, not toddlers, togglers. I have a, well, I have an infant, so words like toddler are in my brain. But this is the problem of the toddler. So there are five guys in front of you. And I, so that's one of them, two, three, four, five. They don't have to be guys, they could be of any gender. And four of them are what we called togglers and what a toddler so four of them four togglers four togglers and what a toddler does is they the first time you ask them a question they're either going to tell the, the truth or they're going to lie so truth or a lie but then the second time that you ask them they're going to toggle they're going to switch so the second time you ask them a question if they told the truth the first time then the next time you ask that same person a question, they're going to switch to lying. But if they lied the first time you ask them a question, then they're going to switch to telling the truth. And then it goes on and so on and so forth. So if you ask this same person the third question, if they told the truth the first time, then they'll lie the second time you ask them a question. And then the third time, they'll tell them the truth again. It's like if I was a toddler and you said, hey, you, what is your name? And if I said, oh, my name is Bill then clearly I'm lying that first time. And then you say, you point it to me again, and you say, what is your name? And I'm saying, oh, my name is Sal. And then if you were asking me again, what is your name? I would say, oh, my name is Susan. And if you ask me again, my name is Sal. So this is, so the first time I just decided to lie. But I, just as easy, just as easily, I could have decided to tell the truth the first time. You might have, you know, said, hey, you, what's your name? I would have said, Sal. And then you ask me, what's your name again? And I would have said, Elizabeth. And then you ask me, what's my name again? I would say, oh, my name is Sal. And then again, what's your name? And I would say, you know, George Washington or, or something arbitrary. But I think you get the idea. A toddler, the first, you know, I don't know who's a toddler. Say that this is a toddler. The first time you ask them a question, they might lie. They might tell the truth. But if they lie, the next time you ask the same person a question, they're going to tell the truth. But if the first time you ask them a question and they did tell the truth, the next time you ask the same person a question, he or she is going to lie. So that's a toddler. So you can already imagine this is, I mean, I don't know, the, the first time that I read the problem, it kind of made my brain hurt. This notion of a toddler. It's much easier when there's a reality where people only lie or only tell the truth. It's much harder when they toggle. And not only they toggle, but their initial state, whether they start telling the truth or they start off lying, you don't know. That's arbitrary. There's no way of predicting whether this person, first of all, we don't know if this person is a toggler, because I said there's only four togglers. But even if they are a toggler, I don't even know if the first time I ask them a question, whether they're going to tell the truth or whether they're going to lie. So four of them are togglers. What's the fifth? Well, you probably could guess, because this is how these brain teasers go. The fifth is a truth teller. And he's much simpler, or he or she, I don't want to give any clues on who it might be, is a truth teller. And a truth teller always tells the truth. Always tells the truth. So this brain teaser is, or the goal of this brain teaser, is to figure out who is the truth teller. So you want to know which of these five people is the, so let's say, goal. Who's truth teller? And as you can imagine, you don't have infinite questions to do this with. You have exactly two questions to do this with. And you have two questions. 
And those two questions, they can be you know, one question to this guy, and then another question to this guy. Both questions could be to this guy. Both questions could be to her right over there. So the questions don't have to be to the same person, although they can be to the same person. Or they could be kind of to two different people. So you have two questions, any question, to ask of any, com- you know, any combination of either two questions to one person or two questions to two people people to figure and by the end of those two questions you should know for sure who is the truth teller and that is the the brain teaser statement so pause it now if you don't want any hints or the solution or anything else so you know i encourage you to pause it and think about it for at least for at least a day and you know sleep on it because a lot of you know all the, the real math problems or logic problems that are worth solving aren't the ones that you can solve uh, right when you see them they're the ones that you kind of sit and let your brain do a little uh, background processing while you sleep so with that said